Welcome everyone. In this little video we're going to talk about um, creating various mathematical expressions using the interactions pane in Dr. Java. So if you don't have Dr. Java open, go ahead and open it and then click on the interactions pane. And at the prompt is here's where we're going to type in our expressions. So computers are actually just calculators. They can add, divide, multiply, etc. So we can type in 3 plus 4 to get 7 or 10 minus 2 to get 8. We can multiply more than one number by saying something like 2, 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. We can also divide by saying 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. But if we switch those numbers and say 2 divided by 6, we are going to get 0. And the reason is, is that integers are handled differently in another part of the processor than the floats. So we have to tell the computer that we're working with decimals or otherwise if we divide by two integers it will truncate all of the decimal points. So if we say 2.0 divided by 6.0 then we can get a result of a third. You can also just have the denominator which so we can say 2 divided by 6.0 will still give us the same result. At least one of the numbers has to be a decimal. Now it's also important to talk about the order of precedence or PEMDAS which you may have heard in school which is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, arithmetic, and, subtra uh, and subtraction. Actually multiplication and division are on the same level and when they occur together you have to read from left to right. So let's try an example. We can say open parentheses 12 plus 3 and then we'll divide it by 4 times 2 and our result is 6. So the parentheses take precedence so we'll add the 12 and the 3 first to get 15. We divide by 4. 4 goes into 12 three times with three left over so since we are working with integers we just have a three and then the three times two is equal to six. So we also have a modulus or a remainder sign that we can use and we can say um, something like 26 modulus 10 will give us 6 because 10 goes into 26 two times with 6 being the remainder. So we could say something like 6 modulus 2 and we get 0 because there's no remainder because 2 goes into 6 evenly. We can also create larger expressions using modulus for instance 26 modulus 10 modulus 4 times 3 is going to equal to 6. So 26 modulus 10 is 6. 6 modulus 4 is 2 because there's 2 left over and 2 times 3 is 6. Let's do another example. How about 6 times 7 modulus 4? So we have 2 left over. So 6 times 7 is 42 and 4 goes into 40 10 times with a remainder of 2. So I've included a number of exercises, I've included a worksheet with a number of these exercises. Um, so take a look at the worksheet. So here's another example um, using decimals. 
instead of integers. So we hit something like 2.5 plus 3.5, close the parentheses, and divide it by 2, and we get 3.0. So the parentheses take precedence, so 2.5 plus 3.5 is 6, and 6 divided 6.0, not 6, because we're working with decimals, and 6.0 divided by 2 is actually 3.0, and not 3, according to the computer. So let's do one of these with modulus, so we can have something like 813 modulus 100 divided by 3 plus 2.4. It's going to give us 6.4. So 813 modulus 100 gives us a remainder of 13. 13 divided by 3. 3 goes in there four times with one left over. Um, and then, yeah, so 13 goes in there four times. And 4 plus 2.4 is 6.4. So take a look at the worksheets that I've given you. Um, I've also given you a link to a site called Practice It. That's where these um, practice problems come from. And you should sign up for an account so that you, you can do other practice problems as we go throughout the year. All right, I'll see you in the next video. We're going to develop an algorithm for slope and then use it in a ski slope program.